Hey everybody, it's Brandy with Eternal Harvest and today I'm going to show you how I made a sandpaper storage unit that goes on the wall. Stick around. Okay, so I've been working through a bunch of different designs on the sandpaper storage unit and I think what I've decided is that I'm going to make it a little bit like my magazine rack that I did a video about a little while ago. I'll link it here. Um, and I'm gonna just attach it directly to the wall with some one by twos. I want it to be super simple, I want it to be super fast, and I want it to hold quite a bit of sandpaper. I just use the five inch rounds the most, and so that's what's going here in my little finishing nook area. And I'll take you along step by step. There were some other options I tried out. I tried out having like a plywood backer, I tried out having a couple different things, but nothing really felt right. And I'm hoping that this idea will work the best. But let me just give you a little visual. I pulled off a piece of my design here. And I'm going to basically build a frame here that will hold four across. And then I'll build pieces around the frame to hold everything in. So it essentially is just a little tiny cubby that will hold each of these. And then below it, I would like a little space for my sander so that's the plan and I'll walk you along. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start off by cutting my one by twos at five inches because that's the size of my discs and that's what I need my middle dimensions to be. And then I'll measure the width of everything and cut those and I'm gonna attach it directly to the drywall. If you would rather put a plywood hardbacker behind it, you can do that as well. The plan will remain the same. You'll just have to hang the plywood afterwards. Okay, now I've got all, hold on. Okay, I've got the back pieces all cut to the measurements that I want to make the basic frame. I'm gonna use two inch nails and I'm gonna use my Brad nailer from DeWalt's Battery Operated, I love this thing. And I'm gonna get that all attached before I start building the front pieces. Oh, and I should tell you that I measured between my little art pieces, my little triangle here is about 22 inches. So that's gonna be the width and then it's gonna be five inches in the middle plus one and a half plus one and a half. So we're looking at about eight inches tall. Okay, so the frame is basically made. It's pretty simple, it's pretty rough, which is fine. I'm not looking for anything crazy special. I just needed to hold my sandpaper. So now all I have to do is add a cross brace right across here that will hold all of the discs in place. And I'm thinking I may actually make one more here so that I have six different grit options at hand. Um, I'm still thinking this through as I go. But this is basically the whole structure. It needs to be painted and I need to get that cross piece on. So I'm gonna go cut that now and make sure it works. Okay, so I finished this up, I've puttied the holes, I'm waiting for that to dry, and for my, for my sander, which is gonna go right here, um, I found these little hooks at the dollar store, and I think it's gonna work perfectly in order to hold this against the wall. And this entire garage series that I'm doing, renovation series, reorganization series, is based off of trying to find inexpensive solutions for craziness and the mess that comes with the shop. But I also want it to be kind of appealing to the eye because I don't know, I'm a girl, I guess. <laughs> so I like it to be pretty. And so I've been trying really hard to use scraps in all of my build projects and to use things that I already had on hand around the house, paint colors, things like that that I had left over and try to really not spend any money at all if I could help it. So these come three to pack and I've used them throughout my entire garage reorganization for different things and they've really come in handy. I think they're a good deal. Um, so I'm gonna try and use this for my sander. I'm gonna screw it into the stud here and hopefully it'll hold my sander right there. 
And the idea of this sanding station is that I've created different stations throughout the shop to help my workflow a little bit more. So I have my miter station, my assembly station, my finishing nook, and that's kind of what I'm trying to create here. So it's gonna have my sander, all my sanding discs, and then it's got some clamps over here, and I may find a little spot to hold some glue if I have some time. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Okay, so I think the putty is about dry. I'm gonna take my 120 gator sponge that I've got on hand and sand the sanding storage area, and then I'm gonna paint. I had an extra can of white paint laying around, so I'm gonna paint the inside squares and all the framing for that. Okay, it's all painted, it's drying right now. I'm gonna distress it a little bit and then I have some little chalk labels that I'll be putting on the front to label each, each grit of disc that I'm putting in there. And my sander has a spot. Now the only thing left to do is find a space for my sponges and my micro sander from Gator. So I'm gonna be working on that tomorrow, but for now, here's a quick sandpaper storage unit that you guys can build in like 20 minutes. 